dimensions, fluid characteristics are expressed with respect to either quantity or quality. Quantitatively is when property is represented with numbers or units. Qualitatively is with respect to certain primary quantities. There are four basic quantities. Length, L. Mass, M. Time, T. Temperature, Theta. These are basic dimensions used to describe secondary quantities. For expressing most fluid characteristics MLT is widely involved but FLT may also be used where F equals MA, which gives us F equals MLT minus 2. So for stress equal F over A, we may simply use FL minus 2, instead of ML minus 1, T minus 2. All theoretical equations are dimensionally homogeneous. V equal V naught plus AT. Here LT minus 1 equals LT minus 1. Some equations may appear to be denying dimensional homogeneity, but the constants involved are incorporated with missing dimensions. Distance travel by a free-falling body is given by d equals t square. Note that dimensionally l is not equal to t square, but here 4.9 is actually half of acceleration due to gravity. Therefore, l equal l and the equation becomes dimensionally homogeneous. This equation is only limited for SI units as G is not equal to 9.8 for FPS system. When an equation is homogeneous for specific system of units, is called restricted homogeneous equation. Otherwise it is a general homogeneous equation. Example 1.1. Q is volume rate flow given by following expression. And we are to find homogeneity of this equation. A is area given by L square. G is acceleration due to gravity given by LT minus 2, and H is height as L. Q is volume rate L cube over T minus 1. So analyzing we get L cube T minus 1 equals L square root of LT minus 2 L. Thus the equation is dimensionally homogeneous. But if we would have put in the value of G equal to 9.8 meter per second then this would have become a restricted homogeneous equation. L cube T minus 1 is not equal to L5 by 2. A quick check of dimension helps in spotting error and preventing mistake concerning scientific constants. Thanks for watching. For further lectures go to echo.online. And don't forget to subscribe.